Exile Tactical features the Amazon Basics Biometric Safe. We will test it, open it up, and see what you get for your money. Jeff Benzos got together with the team, decided that they would offer you this, this fantastic Amazon Basics Biometric Safe. We're just going to do a quick overview of what you get when you buy one of these safes. Uh, we'll do some tests on it, um, scan or whatnot. Uh, so let's start with just seeing how it functions. It pretty quick it can hold up to 50 fingerprints the front door is 8 gauge still they say the i think the 12 gauge for the rest of the body pry resistant the hinges are the inside um you know just a basic little safe just a bit just a little piece of felt here a shelf a removable shelf there later on we'll see how many pistols we get we get quite a few in there uh it's a you know fairly cheap safe considering the size uh, it is uh also does feature a backup key access right here let's just test that out there you go you're in uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a, a test on the scanner um see how well it works with you know a little bit of a sweaty finger some dust see if it causes any problems with the scanner and then we'll move on to see what fits in this safe we're gonna do the just like a sweaty finger challenge on this thing just a damp finger right here you see a little bit of fluid on there see if it works we're in Again, and as you can see, there's some amount of fluid on the actual scanner. So let's go ahead and do the powdered finger here. As you can see, there's a good amount of powder there. Let's see if that causes any issues. And let's do it again. Let it reset. Wipe my finger off. There you go. So a pretty responsive scanner. Doing a speed test on this Amazon Basic Safe to see just how fast it opens. Now I can't open. It. I don't have three arms here, so as soon as I hear the mechanism click over, the safe is technically could be opened, and that's when I'll be shutting it down. So here we go. There you go. It is a fast little safe. Fast safe. So let's go ahead and do it with two hands just to show you how fast this will open. There you go, you're in just like that. It does come with these four mounting bolts. Let's go ahead and see exactly where it goes. So here, let's open her up. Uh, now, that's one thing, this scanner is quite small. You can miss it. So that is one thing to know about this safe. Now there is four mounting positions on the bottom and four on top there. So on the back side. So you got plenty of places to mount this safe. Uh, Let's just look at the bolts. This is your maximum size bolts here. These are a little decently sturdy. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take off this cover and show you exactly what's inside of here. All right, so just two screws in your right end. Uh, so we have the key in over here. As you see, the key pushes down on that piece of metal right there. Let's see, and then simply the bolt will move up. No movement. Now I do have a 600 pound uh, fishing magnet that I'll later on use to see if I can pull that down but that's a different video uh, but it's a very simple little safe just two screws gets you inside of here um, it seems durable enough uh, so that's just a quick inside there of a Amazon basic safe right, now this might not be the most appropriate way of storing your pistols but if you're in a pinch and need some storage you can store them just like this this is your micro nines right here and makarov uh, i got a dagger here there's a clock 21 a xd compact in there i'm actually going to show you some pistol racks too that will fit in here real quick see if it fits in there as well i think the foam one will work best so let's get over to showing you how those pistol racks function well good luck with that because none of them fit uh my foam usually fits in everything this won't fit in there this won't fit in there. I mean, I think it fits sideways, but that's just awkward. That doesn't fit in there. And then, like I said, sideways, but that's just a awkward way of fitting your pistols in there. So, uh, yeah, if, you, if anyone knows where a good rack for this thing, uh, put in the comments because uh, these racks uh, struck out. This is how to reprogram your safe. Obviously, you put your batteries in. You press this little button right here one time. This finger has never been uh, scanned in, so let's go once. Twice, three times a lady. There you go. So let's take the key out. Here we go. There you go. It's simply that easy. Like again, I can say it's hold up to 50 individual fingerprints, and that is how to reprogram it.